environment market uh, running Linux. So this is similar to the screen uh, feature we see, but we have less activities installed here. Normally you would see more icons like that. And this is the one we made. It's called Graph. Mm -hmm. uh, the idea is uh, to help students get familiar with uh, first and second degree polynomial equations. Mm -hmm. So, here it is. Nice. Um, I cannot uh, make this larger because uh, the size is fixed in the environment. But it lets students and not specify some parameters of the equation and then draw it. Do you have Compiz running? Sorry? Compiz. Uh, no, because it's caused some troubles with uh, the monitor and it breaks down. Okay. okay, that's a linear equation? Yeah, it's linear and you can also store it. Mm -hmm. And uh, then add more. Nice. And then you can see some points of interest where they set with the axis and put themselves. Mm -hmm. And you can also choose and one. This is in Greek, yes? Yes, this is in Greek, but uh, all the buttons are uh, icons. So we try to be further easy language there again. But we have to leave it in Greek because this is Greek school. And you can color the lines. And you can also add that. Uh, and, and theoretically, the children could translate this into, or they could translate this into their local language if, if they could yes, wanted to. Uh, uh, furthermore, this has been already uploaded upstream to Superbugs, so everybody can get it. Mm -hmm. um, and add some second degree equations. And then you can go with them, you can add or remove some of the new. And this is, I don't know, a ridiculous video. <laughs> 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 Well, there's no real, real uh, function in that, apart from uh, giving out the code in case people want to add animation to their uh, activities. Uh, there are also some advanced features of configuring the axis and adding, uh, changing the scale, and adding grids or measuring, stuff like that. It's not very important. But uh, this is part of uh, what our community did, uh, responding to the request of the teachers. Um, we were working with them from the beginning, from the specifications to the intermediate cases, with adapting it to their further requests, and uh, eventually we reached a point where we could upload it to Superlabs. From that point, we got feedback from the global community, and uh, we can further integrate it with uh, the online website. So that's it. Great.